Hey, what's up everybody? This is Osterberg501 and today I want to go over how you can unlock flying in V Rising. Now flying in V Rising is going to come from a vampire power called a bat form. And this is earned from killing one of the later bosses in the game and we'll go over that boss and the boss fight. So for bat form, you turn into a bat and fly high into the air, allowing you to cross impassable terrain, cannot be used while carrying resources, while indoors, and requires a valid landing location when X Exiting the form, beware of the sun. So a few things with this, you can't go into bat form and carry around resources. You can still carry your weapons. You can still carry consumables, stuff like that that you would use for yourself in combat, but not just general resources. You can't carry those. It won't let you fly and you can't use it while indoors, which kind of makes sense. And it requires a valid landing location. So you can't just land outside of the map or something. That's pretty much all that means. You have to land somewhere in playable space and you can't really fly around during the daytime because you have zero protection. So it's pretty much only used at night. And this is also incredibly strong because once you're up there, nobody can shoot you down or anything like that. So you can just fly around, scout out the entirety of the map. This will unlock all of the locations on the map and remove the fog of wars. So you can unlock all of the different locations and farm spots on the map and you can fly around and scout anybody's bases and if you just aim your cursor at that base it'll give you a name to who owns that base so you can run around and scout the entire map for any other players which is going to be very useful on any pvp servers and also it does have a really long cast time so this isn't something that you're going to be able to jump around a corner and go into bat form and escape a pvp situation you have to hide for quite a long time to be able to get up into bat form. Now, like I mentioned, getting this is going to be more of the end game because you have to kill one of the V blood enemies called Night Marshal Stinks the Sunderer, which is level 76. So you're going to want around there. If you're in duo or quads, you can be a bit under that, but if you're solo, you might want to be at least at level 76. And the only thing he rewards is bat form when you defeat him. And the fight isn't actually too difficult because of one mechanic. Now you'll find this boss wandering pretty much any of the roads in the cursed forest. So you just have to track him and go there and look around for him. We shouldn't have too big of a deal finding him. The cursed forest isn't that big of a map. And it seems that pretty much all of his abilities he just randomly uses. So you kind of have to keep an eye out for pretty much everything. The first thing being he summons a group of bats that does damage when they go through you. But he summons these from the sides. So they come in horizontally. And a lot of these roads you're fighting him on will usually have trees or rocks on the side so sometimes it's hard to see it coming in doesn't do a ton of damage or didn't do a ton of damage to us but that's one of the things you have to look out for he will also have a spin ability that he does that he spins in a circle and while he's spinning a bunch of spinning blades come out from him and also go out in a circle so you're going to want to dodge those to the best of your ability and not be near him because he's also spinning himself then he's going to have a, a teleport ability where he teleports somewhere sometimes to a player and sometimes to just a random location because a lot of the times after he teleports he'll start to do his dashes so he'll dash around at players a few times dealing damage so you're going to want to dodge at to the best of your ability try to keep up your movement ability for that then one of the final abilities and the one that makes this fight much more easy is at some points i think 50 percent health but i'm not exactly sure he will jump up into the air become untargetable and he'll summon a bunch of enemies for you to kill now these enemies are pretty squishy they're really fast but they're pretty squishy and anytime you kill one of these enemies that he summons it not only heals you for quite a large amount but it was also healing us for our maximum health as well which usually doesn't happen when healing in combat pretty much never happens from anything else so say you take a bunch of damage and you can't heal up past a certain point anymore killing these enemies is actually healing you up that amount so by the time you usually kill all these enemies he spawns you're pretty much full health and that mechanic pretty much makes this fight really easy and that's pretty much the entirety of the fight it's a pretty easy one because of that phase like i mentioned where you just get healed a ton from the enemies he spawns so you're going to kill a bunch of those enemies he's going to drop down and you're going to be full health and you shouldn't have too big of a difficulty killing this boss and that will unlock you bat form so now you can fly around scout out the entire map see where everybody's bases are and get to farm spots much quicker but that's pretty much all I want to go over with how you can fly in V Rising. So subscribe if you want to see more V Rising or other videos. Leave a like if you liked the video. Leave a comment down below what you guys think about Bat Form. And thanks for watching.